Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sanjori Banerjee and I'm from India. Today, I'm going to talk about youth empowerment. And the title of my talk is going to be We are the creators of a glorious history. Well, friends, whether we take the example of Malala Yousafzai in Pakistan, a young 16-year-old girl who stood against terrorism and spoke about education, girls' rights, and peace, or be it Akash Manoj, a young 16-year-old budding inventor who invented a device which could detect a silent heart attack, or be it Ivan Spiegel, this young CEO of Snapchat at just 23 years, or be it me, I myself, at the age of just five years, waged a war against female feticide in India. It is the youth who has already come forward. And it is the youth who has landed in the battleground to fight against all these social evils and make this world a better place to live in. We are the young inventors, young men and women they're already messengers of peace, already change makers, already leading change in this world. We all have an incredible story, a unique story to share. I ask each one of you to stand up, to share your story, to speak up and become the voice of all those millions of people who might not be able to share their story. We are the next Mandela's, the next Martin Luther King. We are the next Gandhi and the next Maya Angelou. We have the power in our hands to make this world a better place. Let us all stand up and become an asset for the governments and for the world and contribute in the development of our own countries as well as the entire world. I see trailblazers, revolutionaries, and dreamers in each one of us. We have the power to change this world. We cannot afford to get the batons in our hands until we grow older. We already have that power. We already can do a lot about it. It is said that around 60% of the world's total global income is contributed by the youth. It is the youth who is already into the field to do something different. I would like to narrate a story here. There was a girl in India, a young five-year-old girl, whose sister was about to be killed in the womb of her mother. When she realized about this issue and she saw pressures and pain in the family. She ran to her father to ask why was that happening? And she came to know that a social evil called female feticide existed in India. Although she was lucky enough and her parents resisted all the pressures and her younger sister was finally born, but she was shook to the core. She decided to take up the cause. She talked to her parents. She spoke to other family members. She spoke to other people and found that it was a grave issue in India. She decided to wage a war against it. At the age of just five years, when other young children play with the toys and spend a life of innocence, she was already becoming a voice of millions of unborn daughters in India. Well, friends, you will be glad to know that it was none other than me who stood up for this cause. Gradually, I spread my wings and started focusing not just on female feticide, but on girls' rights, education for women, literacy, and access to greater opportunities and equal rights as their male counterparts. Through my journey, 
and now it's been 15 years that I have been into this field, championing female rights and education. I've seen a great change, but I believe there's still a lot to be done. I have been honored by the state as well as the national government of India and acknowledged by the national media of India. But I believe that that is not enough. There's a long way to go. And it's not just me. It's each one of us. Each one of us has that fire, that, that fire to do something different. Not maybe just take up a social cause, but maybe invent something new for this for the betterment of, of the world or take some issue. All I want to convey today through my short talk is that youth has immense power to bring about a change and we cannot wait until it's late because we have the pen to write that history. We are the narrators and the writers and the creators of history and it's in our hands if we make it a glorious history or a sad history for the future generations. Thank you very much and I hope you will be inspired to take some initiative and some action and be enthusiastic enough to be socially responsible and productive citizens of your own country as well as of this world. Thank you very much.